begging God for mercy from a little concrete cell, set a convicted man in the Georgia State Jail. His hands are bound by chains and their shackles on his feet. This man was sentenced to die by a jury in 93. And now the day has come for that sentence to be carried out. So many things are on his mind, but only one he thinks about. The life he took away on that awful summer night. Why he never saw that little child riding on her bike. Stumbling out of the bar, he got in his car and drove away. He crashed into a light post and killed her right away. Crowds of people gathered round, staring at the awful sight. The little girl was lying still as her mother held her tight. He saw her broken body but didn't realize what he'd done. Too many drinks of beer and wine had made his mind grow numb. His thoughts were interrupted by the opening of the door. They read his final rites and he just stared at the empty floor. He knew he'd never be forgiven for a crime such as this. A home for him in heaven he knew would not exist. So the guards, they came and took him to the room where he would die. And they strapped him to the chair before many a watchful eye. Gathered in that room, there was the victim's family. They'd come to see this man receive his final penalty. And sitting right in front there was the mother of this child, weeping for her baby in sorrow nearly wild. And in her arms he saw the face of that little girl again, in a picture taken weeks before she'd reached the age of ten. Her eyes were full of life then, not the emptiness of death. That wasn't how he'd seen them when he crawled out from that wreck. And on her face there was a smile to which no angel could compare. There was no blood upon her face or in her golden hair. The life he took away that night no one here can ever replace. And never again will no one see her little smiling face. For his sinful way of living, this man now must pay the price. For a tragic mistake he made just once had brought him here tonight. His head was covered slowly, and the warden threw the switch. The people smelled the burning flesh, and they watched his body twitch. They pronounced him dead at 12 a.m., and they prayed there for a while. For this man was put to death because he killed his only child.